Good evening, Wargamers. I'm Vesa Ramnus, and uh, today I'm going to continue my discussion of the upcoming Wood Elf release. So, last time we talked about um, week one releases the Treeman, Treeman Ancient, Durthu, um, basically that one kit, and then the uh, um, special character and the codex and magic cards. Um, so, those are all up for pre orders now. Uh, you can go and check out those, those um, models officially without uh, looking at leaked images uh, on the GW website so I definitely encourage you to do so. Um, my plan is probably going to be to pick up the codex first before I commit to buying a, a Treeman model but um, I can almost guarantee you I'm going to get one <laughs> just because the only Treeman model I have currently is the one from um, 15 years ago. So. Um, it's time for update either way, and it's just a really nice model, so I think that's probably <laughs> probably not uh, called for. It's about time. Uh, but more excitingly, we are finally getting a uh, glimpse at the week of uh, the second week, and likely the final week of the Wood Elf release, um, and what kits are coming then. Um, so right now, there's basically uh, two additional kits. There's an infantry kit and a cavalry kit. The infantry kit looks like it can be used to make uh, Eternal Guard or um, a new unit called uh, Wildwood Rangers um, which are you know similar to Glade Guard except for they have a double-handed blade so it's probably like a great weapon or something like that. Um, and I uh, again I'm not going to post a direct link to these images or show them to you but I will post a link um, below to azride.org that has a link to all those images so you can see all the all the new uh, content that way and I'm not directly responsible for you doing so um, so that works out um, but yeah so there's the Wildwood Rangers they have this this um, double-handed blade thing very cool um, and uh, then there's the two the two cavalry kits, one is the Wild Hunters um, and the other is the Sisters of the Thorn or it's kind of Maidens of the Thorn, it's something thorny, thorny women. Um, we don't exactly have a, a concrete name on them, at least that I've seen. Uh, it kind of goes back and forth between Sisters, Maidens, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, but uh, so let's talk about these guys a little bit more in depth, just uh, more than what they're called. So the Eternal Guard unit um, looks really nice. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I can almost guarantee you that I will also pick up a kit just so that I can get these Eternal Guard because again, the Eternal Guard I have are the old uh, metal uh, Glade Guard because originally Glade Guard were the Spearmen and Archers were the Archers, um, which are now today's Glade Guard. Uh, so I'll be picking up a box of this just to make these uh, Eternal Guard. I got myself switched around there. Eternal Guard, um, just because they look great. Um, I really like them. Very dramatic poses, highly detailed um, modeling on not only the armor, um, but the shields and everything like that looks great um, and dynamically posed. Uh, I, something that I really have to point out with these guys and with um, a lot of the other models too is it really seems like they're diluting the Wood Elf aesthetic to um, try to make it more of a continuum of High Elf to Dark Elf and having Wood Elves in between. So you see a lot more of the High Elf aesthetic and the Dark Elf aesthetic blended in with um, kind of these more um, organic lines. So uh, if you look at the Glade, at the Eternal Guard model, you see these helms are very high elf uh, like. They're very high elven. Um, but the shields, on the other hand, are, have this like kind of curly Q type um, design in them, and that is, you know, evoking a um, wood elf aesthetic and blending it with a high elf aesthetic um, in the form of the, those helms. So I think that's really interesting. Um, you know, and it fits with what they're doing in terms of the rules of, um, you know, including high, uh, high lore and shadow lore into the Wood Elves. So 
uh, this consistency and congruency is, is very interesting and, and um, I like it from a conceptual standpoint. Um, so the other kit that that the other unit that that kit makes is the Rangers and they these guys are not as um, formal looking they they have um, hoods instead of these metal helms and then they have these giant blades which look really cool um, it's almost like um, almost like a like a, a two-handed blade weapon that they have in Warcraft type of thing um, like size and, and things like that um, war glaives it's kind of like a war glaive um, or like Klingons in Star Trek um, interesting I am going to be curious to see what these what the rules are for them um, they're neat models um, certainly though the other kit the cavalry kit I think is um, very provocative um, so the first kit that it makes is the um, wild riders which have a complete revamp in the way they look they're um, they're the same Wild Riders that you've seen in some concept or art that was released a few weeks ago, but now they're on stags. Um, the stags look very uh, really good. They have like these nice thick manes. <laughs> um, interestingly, though, their antlers don't um, protrude from the skull like a normal antler would. It's kind of like um, they took antlers and bound them up and then like duct taped them to the front of the animal's head, um, which I think is interesting. Um, it, it looks a little weird, but I can go with it. It's fine. Um, and then, uh, the riders themselves have these, um, these, uh, you know, metallic helms and, uh, these flowing, uh, leaf-like cloaks. Um, but that's about all they're wearing. <laughs> Um, it's supposed to look a lot like Orion. They're supposed to be his personal guard. Um, and I, I think they look really nice. Um, again, you're getting a lot more of a, um, of a dark elf aesthetic here with the helms, um, which is interesting. Um, but I think they look boss. These guys look great. Um, whether or not I take them, I don't know. But the Stag riders, um, are very dynamically posed, especially the champion who has... Um, his stag is rearing up, um, you know, on its hind legs, and it's very, you know, it's almost like a cowboy, <laughs> kind of. Uh, it's a really neat model. Um, the the sisters of the of the thorn are essentially rumored to be rule wise, wood elf versions of um, of uh, doomfire warlocks. So they have a ward save. They have um, a couple spells. Um, and then they're kind of nasty in close combat. Um, and so hearing this and hearing the name, I was expecting something like pretty feral looking from the model. I was thinking something that was much more like a war dancer, a mounted war dancer than, um, uh, what I ended up getting, which is something that, um, in, in the released images, it's a blue and white color scheme. It's supposed to be like the winter elves, um, which really comes off as giving it a high elf aesthetic, um, which I'm not, you know, in this case, it just seems too much, too high LV, um, which is, is throwing me off. So I really think I have to see these guys in a, or these girls <laughs> in a, di in a different color scheme. Um, but, uh, in all, they seem very, um, pixie fairy like. Um, and I think a lot of that is due to not only the color scheme, but also the fact that they have two spears that are um, crossed on their back like this. So it really gives them kind of a feel of having you know, wings on their back, at least from the, the perspectives given by the photographs that, that we have. And um, so like they're sculpted really nicely, but I don't know if they're really doing it for me in terms of um, just the cool factor. Um, so I'm really, ho I'm hoping based on the rules that we're hearing, um, that, you know, once I see it in a 360 viewer and stuff that I'm really, I'm going to, you know, buy into it more, but, um, but yeah, uh, the stags are awesome. Um, the, uh, the riders are awesome. I think, uh, probably my biggest concern with them 
besides the spears. Um, I think I'd prefer those to be either on the side or both going the same same direction on on the back, not crossed like that. Um, but my biggest concern, I think, is the armor seemed very um, uninspired on the uh, sisters. So I would I would you know prefer that to be a slightly more organic feel. Really, what they have here is um, something you know not very different from the types of aesthetics that you saw from high elf or dark elf um, models 10 years ago. Um, I don't feel like the armor look, really stands out um, in comparison to that that generation of model whereas I think it um, very easily could have. Um, so really I think the torso is where I'm, I'm disappointed <laughs> um, and it's because of the armor. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, so those are the last two releases, potentially. There might be a third third week, you know, we don't know, but after that, looks like we're going to be getting a, uh, you know, revised 6th edition of 40K, um, so we'll see how it goes, but uh, let me know what you think of these um, new models in the comments below. Again, a link to the azurai.org uh, thread discussing them uh, will be in the description and uh, thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for more what else stuff it's going to be uh, interesting couple of weeks